Doris Sellers, principal of A.C. Reynolds High School. On behalf of Superintendent Dr. Baldwin and A.C. Reynolds board member, Mrs. Cindy McMahon, I would like to welcome you to the 64th commencement ceremony for the 2020 graduating class of A.C. Reynolds High School in the most unique format, a virtual ceremony. Let's begin with our national anthem, sung by the A.C. Reynolds High School Chorale, and the Pledge of Allegiance led by Hebron Cole, Senior Class President. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, students. That was wonderful. I would so much prefer to be in our traditional venue and celebrating together, but this ceremony proves we will not allow this milestone of your life to not be honored in a most unique way and to celebrate you, a graduating class who has experienced something never before in our school history, a shutdown of school due to a pandemic. We are most saddened for how you have spent the spring of your senior year. You are resilient and you will overcome this unprecedented adversity that has come your way. And I am certain you will never forget your senior year. On March 5th, when A.C. Reynolds and Cane Creek Middle Schools visited our campus for their rising freshman tours, you, the seniors of 2020, gave me an idea for your graduation remarks. You spontaneously had a reoccurring theme on this day when you spoke to the eighth graders, find your people. You spoke to these students and told them the best advice you could give them is to get involved and find your people at A.C. Reynolds High School. Each of you told them that your people is what had given you the greatest four years of high school. Well, little did we all know that just one week later, the governor would announce a school closure that would take you away from your people. Since March 13th, life has been very different and our school has been very different. Where you used to gather with your people has become a ghost town. Our halls are empty. Our classrooms are vacant of students and teachers. Our cafeteria is silent. And our fields, courts, and stages have been empty of athletic games and performances. 
You have missed out on so much. Prom, senior picnic, senior walk, spring musical, spring sports, our annual Memorial Day Pops concert, and so much more. On March 13th, when school was dismissed, your teachers transitioned quickly to an at-home virtual learning environment. As time passed during those next two weeks and we watched the news, we soon had the realization that the probability we could return to school and your return to your people was not very likely. Besides your social media, your primary ways to find your AC Reynolds people became Zoom and Google Classroom Meets. Your teachers became the people you were trying to find and connect with to continue learning. I want to genuinely take this moment to thank your teachers and coaches for their efforts, not only during these last three months, but during all of your years at AC Reynolds. They have prepared you for your next steps, the college university of your choice, the workforce, or the military. I know you will move to your next steps of life prepared for whatever lies in your path. Your teachers, most of whom you will see later today on campus, have been instrumental in leading you to be in an accomplished class of 2020. These include 114 honors graduates, 84 North Carolina scholars, 67 CTE Honor Society members, and over $3 million in scholarships, with more coming in daily. Athletically, you hold numerous conference championships. You have broken school records in athletic competition and have participated in state championship games. And in my personal opinion, the Lady Rocket soccer team of 2020 would have been named state champions in Raleigh just this past weekend. You have Eagle and Gold Scouts among you, the Buncombe County Distinguished Young Woman, and numerous world travelers. Your formalized learning has been what has given you these individual team and our school accolades, as well as made you influential throughout our community and beyond. On graduation day, I always enjoy the excitement of the sounds of celebration that fill the venue when you begin to enter and fill each row. This year, you are most likely watching this in your living room with your family. And I hope your family is screaming, that's my baby, or she made it, or whistling loudly. Your entire neighborhood should know there is a graduate in your home. Seniors, I can imagine when you were born and your parents planned some of life's goals they had for you, that they calculated ahead and went, oh, my precious baby will be in the class of 2020. That's so cool. I can also assure you they never thought the graduation ceremony for the class of 2020 would be a virtual ceremony. You have spent a significant amount of time with your families recently. They have become your people. In fact, normally this time of the year, you are rarely home. You're with your friends, you're at school events, you're at work. You are beginning to expand your wings to develop your own independence. I often hear parents say, I just see them as they pass through the house for a short minute. We are all so busy. Well, today marks the 85th day of the stay home, stay safe order, and you have rediscovered your people at your home. Look around you, give them a hug, say I love you, and thank them for the support of these last 18 years that have prepared you to deal with all that life brings. Parents and families, I want to acknowledge that like your son or daughter, you too have missed out on this season of life. You have not been able to be here watching your son or daughter receive academic and athletic recognitions, perform in the spring musical, 
nor attend a huge graduation ceremony for your child and watch them walk across the stage and receive that diploma. I want to thank you that you have been patient and understanding as we worked hard to plan to make today as special as possible for you and your family. Today, after viewing this ceremony, you will proceed to the campus to receive your high school diploma. We have replaced our recent annual tradition of a senior walk back through the halls of your elementary schools to a last senior drive through your campus as a senior class. One thing I always say to the seniors when we gather before we go upstairs to march in for graduation, that it is the last time you will all be together in one place at the same time. At this moment, you are graduating in your homes dispersed all over our community. Today, you are coming back together with your people, socially distanced within the confines of your cars yet together on your campus. When COVID-19 is all behind us and we can return to what is our new normal way of life, I encourage you to come back together and find your people once again. One thing for sure, when you are together again, you will talk about the spring of 2020 and you will never forget just how special this class is. I offer you the class of 2020 of AC Reynolds High School, my warmest wishes and best regards. I am so very proud of you. And while we would much prefer to be present with you in person, please know you are present in our hearts. At this time, I would like to introduce our senior speakers, Kaylee Ann Neal and Isabel Steinke. We will also enjoy a performance by senior members of our AC Reynolds High School Chorale. Hello, fellow Rocket students, staff, friends, and families. For those students looking onto their screens, wondering who is stretching out their ceremony further, my name is Kaylee Ann, and we went to high school together. It is with great honor and excitement that I'm here delivering one final farewell to the class of 2020. Despite virtually celebrating our last 13 years of hard work, memories, and everlasting efforts, the overwhelming sense of community from ACR has still prevailed. I'd like to start with a simple, we made it. Now I know nearly every graduation speech is sure to include this, but I feel as though we truly deserve to say it over and over again. Despite what is going on in our world and the challenges that we have lived through, we finished. We graduated through a pandemic. We are a class graduating through unforeseen issues that no other class has thus far. I'm certain nobody envisioned spending these last few months stuck at home with their families watching Tiger King, having to spend time with your friends over a Zoom call, or even having the ability to graduate in your pajamas. While it may be easy to concentrate on how high school ended, there's so much more to our last four years than the changes that have arisen in the past few months. It's important we take the time to reflect on and appreciate what was, rather than what could have been. And I'm here to do exactly that. Let the uncertainty of our future highlight our strengths in the present. The class of 2020 will undeniably be successful and influential. Over the last four years, our Rocket athletes have brought home conference champion titles and competed in multiple state championships. Our clubs have brought impact and aid to our local and global communities. Our art programs have brought back titles and breathtaking performances for the community to enjoy. Every student individually has had a role in making AC Reynolds a school it is. In the years to come, there's no doubt we will each continue on the same trend of vast achievements. We are a class built on tradition, success, and experiences. All these values are noteworthy in the accomplishments in each and every one of us. Our traditions gave us pride as we walked through the halls, into a sporting event, or even throughout our community, knowing we we're exceptional. Some traditions gave us seniors some extra power and authority, which was fun at times, like standing our ground at the front of the student section, 
or being able to close park close to the school while watching underclassmen drag their goods from the back of the parking lot. Our class understood one another like a family. We knew after a football game we could find nearly the entire student section feasting on a cookout tray. We knew who was in what classes and where to find them. We knew when to wrap our arms around one another for the alma mater. And we knew we could count on one another. We are all part of the class of 2020 and we have each left an impact on AC Reynolds and its student body. During my freshman year, I found myself struggling with what to do to make the most of my high school experience. What would be the most fun? What would be the coolest? What would my friends be doing? What would they think? In my experience, I found when you base your decisions on the values and interests of others, you tend to neglect your own. Looking back, I wish I could have told myself to branch out and try everything. Try out for a new sport even though you have no clue what you're doing. Start a club. Take a class that may not be good for your GPA, but is something that you're really interested in. Learn to accept it's okay to find your weakness, change your mind, or explore the unknown. This naive freshman advice can be applied to each of us as we move forward with our lives. Take this time after graduation to reflect on what you have done. Take charge. Make choices that reflect who you are and what you aspire to become. Now this may be slightly terrifying as a teenager who still has no clue what's to come, but dive in head first. Take chances. Make choices outside of your comfort zone. If there is any hope for changing this world, it begins with you. Use this change that the pandemic has brought to fuel your ambition for greatness in the future. Now I'd like to end my farewell with one final thank you. Thank you to the teachers and staff who devoted countless hours to each and every one of us. Thank you to technology for making this graduation possible. Thank you to friends, family, and community members for your support. And thank you to the class of 2020 for the past four years. Stay safe, Rockets. We are truly unforgettable.
hear the words, I miss school, more frequently than I can count, often from people who I thought would never say such a thing. Those same words come out of my mouth way more frequently than I'd like to admit, but it's true. I think all of us miss something about school. It's probably safe to say that we don't miss the weekly vocab tests or the dress code or the homework, but maybe we miss seeing our best friends in third period or getting second chance breakfast and catching up under the stairs by the library. I miss pulling sluggishly into the senior parking lot in the morning and cracking jokes with my friends. The class of 2020 has missed out on a lot. We miss going to practice, performing on stage, hugs, going outside without a mask, the list goes on. It may be dominating our lives right now, but this whole thing has taken place during just three months so far. And that's like mm, one sixteenth of our time in high school. So it shouldn't define the whole experience, right? Truth is, we're making history. In 20 years, high school kids will be learning about this pandemic and wondering what on earth it was like to be in our place. They won't remember the little things about the graduating class of 2020 that makes us special, so that's up to us. What makes us so special anyway? Maybe it's the way the student section was always a great place to be on Friday nights, especially with all of us seniors on the front row. Maybe it was the faint memory of rocket fuel and bathroom breaks without hall passes. Maybe it's the way we organized walkouts and demonstrations when there were shootings across the country and in our community. Maybe it's the resilience we've gained from enduring this coronacation, the ultimate gift for those of us afflicted with senioritis, but with a price losing prom and graduation and everything else about high school that we took for granted. For a class defined by tragedy with students born in the aftermath of 9-11, an elementary school during Sandy Hook graduating during a time of a pandemic, you'd think we'd be beaten down. But we're still here, chasing dreams, fighting for justice, pursuing change. I think that's pretty special. If I were to ever publish a book, I'd write one called All I Really Need to Know I Learned in Quarantine. I'd record everything this quarantine has taught me, because honestly, these last few months have emphasized a lot of really important life lessons. Many of us are now chefs and bakers. Some of us have realized the value of hanging out with our families, or holding away and spending hours on TikTok if the family gets to be too much. What's striking to me is that we're learning firsthand what we've been told our entire lives. Some of us are learning the importance of true connections with other people and how it's essential to have friends that you can lean on when things get tough. Others are learning that some people aren't worth the time or the effort at all. Sometimes all you need is yourself. We're done with high school now, so it's time to reflect on the experiences we've had and the people we've become because we never know what tomorrow brings. We've struggled through 7 a.m. weekdays, exams, papers, and now we've struggled through the infamous COVID-19. We're those people. We're all unique, smart, and resilient in our own ways. And now we're graduated. <laughs> Congratulations, class of 2020. We did it. So let's celebrate what we've done and take all of our life lessons into the future. We are future leaders, parents, teachers, healthcare workers. We are the agents of kindness and change. This is for us. Oh, also, one more thing, please wash your hands. <laughs> Thank you. Those were so inspiring. And now we have a very special message from a former student. What's up, y'all? Chase here. I just want to say, first of all, congratulations. You did it. You got through high school. I never thought I'd do it either. So good job. Um, and mostly, I know it's a little weird. It's probably not what you expected but enjoy it. That's the way life's rolling right now. You got to take every day as it comes. 2021 is not showing up any sooner. So enjoy 2020 for what it is. Enjoy your time with your friends and bigger and better things are ahead for sure. Especially now that you're a graduate from the AC Reynolds High School. So congratulations, guys. God bless. And always remember, the Cedar Cliffs look down on the fairest than the best school of all. Go Rockets forever. Love y'all. Wow, it means so much to us that you took the time to inspire our graduates. Thank you. I would like to ask Ms. Casey King to come to the podium to recognize 
the candidates for the class of 2020 from A.C. Reynolds High School. This is the time we have been waiting for, the presentation of our graduates. We take this opportunity in our virtual ceremony to celebrate the class of 2020. A special slideshow has been made to honor each graduate individually. This afternoon, we look forward to seeing you and your families in our drive-through diploma presentation ceremony. Sarah Catherine Adams, highest honors. Daniela Ibar. Ali Hussein Alharbi. Jonathan Zachary Anders. Adina Danae Anaruma. Jordan Elizabeth Arends. Eliza Yanita Benega Samaya. Alexandra Megan Banks, honors. Jason Michael Banks II. Abigail Michaela Bernard. Hannah Fiona Barnes, high honors. Nicole Grace Barrett, highest honors. Zachary Ty Bean. Dean Francis Benny, highest honors. Nicholas Hayden Barbaric, high honors. Hannah Lee Black, honors. Tyree Kareem Bonneman, honors. Damiana Rain Booth. Brianna Lynn Brown. Eric Robert Brown. Grace Cullen Brown, high honors. Abigail Laura Buckwald, highest honors. Claire Olivia Butcher. Caroline Olivia Caps, high honors. Maria Yvette Carballo Funes, highest honors. Emma Elizabeth Carpenter, highest honors. Elijah Bailey Carr. Brenasia Joy Harris Carter. Kimberly Rose Carter, highest honors. Araceli Castillo, high honors. Kendall Brooke Chandler, highest honors. Brisa Maria Chavez Benuelo, honors. Blake Ryan Christensen, honors. Lancelot Samuel Clark. Hebron Alicia Cole, honors. Ethan Troy Colon, highest honors. Tara Nicole Connor, highest honors. Triton Jaywan Crump. Chris Joel Cuevas Perez.
Azenith Badari Cunningham. Deontay Andre Davis. Emily Renee Davis. Keaton Lankford Davis. Aisha River Dayton, honors. Precious Rucci Dixon, honors. Christian Matthew Dotsikas. Ali Melinda Ann Dotson, high honors. Heidi Renee Dotson, highest honors. Jacob Michael Dotson. Alexander Glenn Durham. Alexis Renee Durham. Seth Michael Eberhardt. Madison Brooks Edwards, highest honors. Ariana Wind Elkins, highest honors. Madeline Ryan Ellis, highest honors. Towns Rainer Elam, highest honors. Ashton Michael Irwin. Axel Escobedo Vega. April Espino Pineda. Owen Cade Fleming. Sarah Catherine Fletcher, highest honors. Anley Angel Freeman. Heidi Marie Freeman, high honors. Tobias Friedman, high honors. Jackson James Frisbee. Haley Kareen Galloway, honors. Megan Nicole Galloway, honors. Desiree Nicole Gamble. Ian Duncan Gant. Aslan Pamela Garcia Garcia. Brianna May Gary. Hannah Nicole Gleason, highest honors. Riley Cougar Star Goldie. Alexandra Gonzalez. Abigail Savannah Gosnell, highest honors. Jerion Duane Gregg. Adam James Graham. Gavin Xavier Curtis Green. Naomi Rebecca Green, highest honors. Nalia McKay Green, high honors. Sarah Rebecca Gross, highest honors. Sophia Guinea Marsh. Brenda Gutierrez. Olivia Renee Halstead. A. 
Hayden Curtis Hanthorn, high honors. Jeremy Daniel Harris II. Michaela Daylin Hart. Kaylin Alasadair Hartman. Ethan Matthew Hefner, high honors. Krista Kelly Hendrick, highest honors. Colby Tyler Hensley. Trenton Charles Hensley. Sophia Rain Hicks. William Carl Honey. Kenzie Elizabeth Holcomb, honors. Kate Paula Houston. Chase Jordan Howard, honors. Troy James Howard. Porter William Ellis Hutchins. Amelia Lindsay Caitlin Hutzel, highest honors. John Cooper Engel, honors. Kevin Isidro Hernandez. Aisha Ezekiel Jackson. Marquise Jaden Chamad Jackson. Kristen Lynn Lee Jacoby. Clay Samuel Johnson, high honors. Tacoma Trevin Jones, high honors. Tara Mason Jones, highest honors. Jody Elaine Joy, high honors. Parker Davis Knup. Andre Kebop. Michael Xavier Ketterman. Denise Michelle Kimry, honors. Clara Ann Kittner, highest honors. Jessalyn Annabeth Caius. Adam David Klug, honors. David Christian Knight, highest honors. Kurt David Kessler. Israel Keanu Kolomayetz. Caleb Peter Lafunor. Mackenzie Page Lee. Justin Connor Leon. Anne Margareth Litteru, highest honors. Dwayne Christopher Lilly II, honors. Kevin Lopez Lima. Megan Joelle Linder, highest honors. Brianna Carolyn Lindsay. Levin Jair Littlejohn. Gian Luis Lopez. Michaela Priscilla Lordman. Bailey Hunter Lowe, honors. 
Calvin Cornell Madden. Alexander Martinez Villatoro. Zachary Benton Mason. Alana Grace Madison, high honors. Molly Marie May, high honors. Nathan Michael Mazaris. Kendall Bailey McCorsley. Jackson Steve McCurry, honors. Michaela Karen Cerveta McDowell. Evelyn Audrey McKay, highest honors. Robert Emerson Meadows, honors. Armando Akeem Medina Martinez. Caleb Anthony Michalunas. Zachary Aaron Miller. Grace Moya, Moira Mincher, highest honors. Ciara Nicole Mitchell, highest honors. Josna Devi Moore, highest honors. Christopher Kayer Moore. Ian Ezekiel Moran. Dontarian Joseph Devon Mosley. Jet Laura Nysong, high honors. Kaylee Ann Brim Neal, highest honors. Heath Caleb Norman, honors. Eleanor M Morgan Owenby, high honors. Thomas Ethan Paez. Jack Paxoy. Madison Marie Papp. Tyler David Parton, high honors. Jari Xavier Patterson. Daniel Zachary Patton, honors. Gabriel Seth Patton. Benson Hope Peace. Avery Daylin Pegram. Emily Claire Penland, honors. William Norris Perkin. Hunter Grant Peterson. Nicholas Augustus Pulhamus, honors. Riley Dane Ponder, honors. Azariah Samuel Pope. Emmeline O'Connell Poteet, honors. William Ellerly Poteet, honors. Landon Davis Pringle. Casey Lynn Proko. Austin Blake Pruitt. Eliza Chris Lovingood Purnell. 
Malachi Isaiah Ray. Matthew Evan Reese, High Honors. Minura Reyes Varela, Honors. Emma Jolaine Reynolds, Honors. Jonathan Robert Reynolds. James Genzola Rogers. Axel Rodriguez Corona. Aaron Elizabeth Rogers, highest honors. Scott Jeremy Rogers. Kylie Renee Rowland, honors. Madeline Kate Saltzman, highest honors. Jan Yamir Santos Huerta. Kylie Fortune Schill, high honors. Emma Marie Sellers, honors. Evan Scott Shaw. Kevin Franklin Shearer. Dustin Jeremiah Shelton. Andrew Paul Shimshock, honors. Yelise Schmott. Dawson Lee Shoemake. Nikolai Alex Simonovich. Jack Stewart Simpson, honors. Justin Matthew Sims. Michael Lee Sims. Robin Singh. Luke Christian Sloan, highest honors. Derek Gabriel Smith. Dylan Van Smith. Xavier Lee Smith Casey. Anton DeWillard Smith Jr. Silas Andrew Sneed, highest honors. Annabelle Elizabeth Sparks, highest honors. Abigail Mary Shabazz, honors. Cold Chakatoy Staggs, honors. Luke Santana Staggs, high honors. Haley Elizabeth Stainsby, high honors. Isabel Simone Steinke, highest honors. Olivia Cecile Steinke, high honors. Alexis May Strassneider. Bryce Thomas Sweeney, high honors. Kaylin Ann Marie Tate, highest honors. Benjamin Owen Thompson, honors. Hudson Michael Thompson. Jakari Dantrell Thompson. Taylor K. Thornton. 
Ruby Grace Todd honors. Aaron Robert Travaglini. Justin Tyler Trexler. Devin Zachariah Larray Triplett, honors. River Soul Tulus, honors. Cameron Blake Twitty. Daniel Angel Valdez. Evie Stephanie Velasquez Hernandez. John Harold Vess. Robert Blake Vianz, highest honors. Renna Faith Voss, highest honors. Kelly Lilia Vosniuk. Gibson Vu, honors. Major Worth Waddell IV. Jarrett Sidney Walker. Albert Eugene Wall. Alicia Sky Wasco, highest honors. Akia Lene Waters. Jacob McKinley Weaver. Adam Benjamin Wechter. Aubrey Rain Welch. Sage Sebastian West. Samuel Joseph Westbrock. Benjamin Levi Whitson. Mary Beth Butler Wilbanks. Peyton Jeanette Wilkie, highest honors. Parker Davis Willett, high honors. Catherine Grace Williams, highest honors. Aaron Josiah Wilson. Kelly Marie Wool, highest honors. Elizabeth Blythe Wolf, highest honors. Riley Grace Wooding. Lauren Amanda Wright, honors. Noah Lynn Wyatt. Kerrigan Rebecca Marie Wynn. Nehemiah Ezekiel Quanche Young. Nicholas Gage Young. Tyon Kailal Young. Kendrick Ray Luis Zagara. Kason Coda Zimmerman, highest honors. Caitlin McAllister Zorn, highest honors. Ms. Sellers, I present to you the candidates for graduation for AC Reynolds High School Class of 2020.
Wherever you are, I ask you, the students of the class of 2020, to stand and please move your tassel from the right to the left. By the powers vested in me by the Buncombe County Board of Education and the state of North Carolina, I now pronounce you graduates of A.C. Reynolds High School. Congratulations, and we will leave you today with a traditional Irish blessing and the A.C. Reynolds alma mater performed by members of our chorale.